Hi everybody, I'm Renza Shabilia from Diabetes Australia and I'm here with another one of our Tech Talk segments. And today I am talking about new year, new tech and what we need to think about and getting the most out of our technology because I think sometimes we get into a bit of a rut. So let's talk about a couple of things that we can perhaps do to just, I guess, energize ourselves when it comes to using our diabetes technology to help us manage our diabetes as best as we possibly can. So first thing, I just did mention that we can be in a bit of a rut. And one thing that I hear from lots of people with diabetes, and certainly that I have found as well, new technology is a great way to feel energized and to inject a little bit of enthusiasm into our diabetes management. It's amazing. It's the same as if you get a new phone, you get all interested in it. Have a chat with your diabetes educator to see if there are any new blood glucose monitors that might be right for you. Um, make sure that they've got all the features that you need. So think about that. So things to think about are, um, does it have a light? Can it find patterns for you in your daily glucose levels? All of that sort of stuff. Have a chat with your diabetes educator and decide what you're looking for. Now, I know this is going to sound like I'm turning into Marie Kondo and I'm not, but cleaning out your diabetes technology storage space is a really great idea to get rid of stuff that you don't need anymore. Take a stock take of what you do have and just think about what it is exactly that you use lots of that you find helps manage your diabetes and have a look at what you've got, neaten it all up. Um, I always find that that actually just makes me a lot happier and everything seems to run more smoothly when that happens. It's also a great time if you're using pumps and a continuous glucose monitor to rethink about where you're placing them on your body and you're thinking about making sure that you're doing that in a hygienic way. And, uh, you know, that the health of, of those sites is really important. Um, and also just decide if you're actually getting the best out of the technology that you've got. Are you using the functions? Do you know all the functions that are available to you? Now, great place to start, obviously, is to speak with your diabetes educator. But if you're in an online or a face-to-face -face peer support group and you're speaking with other people with diabetes, ask for their tips and tricks for getting the most out of technology. A lot of these things are just really simple but the new year is often a really good time to just reassess to make sure that you're getting the most out of things and managing your diabetes as best as you possibly can technology is there to help not hinder if you're finding that it's all too overwhelming and that you're not really getting any benefit out of it it's time to shake it up and think about how you can make sure that you certainly are hope that that's helped share any comments that you might have we love hearing from other people i know that those tips and tricks that we hear from other people with diabetes are often just that missing piece that we need to make sure that we're getting the best from our tech thanks a lot we'll see you next time bye